Hi and welcome to another tutorial from instructorresources.co.uk. Today we're going to be having a look at reading and interpreting inshore waters forecasts, so for small boats uh, within 1 to 12 miles offshore. Um, <clears throat> firstly the thing you're going to do is go to metoffice.gov.uk slash weather or alternatively type in inshore forecast into your search bar. Yeah, that will bring up this page. Then decide on the area that you want to look at. For us today we're going to be looking at the south coast. So we're going to scroll down to Celsi Belta Lime Regis. Click go and it'll bring up that independent forecast. What you've got here it says for coastal areas up to 12 miles offshore from 12 o'clock on Sunday the 13th of May until 12 o'clock on Monday the 14th of May. So this is the 24 hour forecast. They'll always be broken down into four sections which is wind, sea state, weather and visibility. If you're unsure as to the breakdown or the descriptions of any of the data then if you go to the left hand side there's a guide, click plus and on the left hand side you'll see a guide to marine forecast and the Beaufort scale which is the data I'll be referring to today. So if we look at wind first it says southwesterly force 4 or 5. Now force return refers to the terms from the Beaufort wind force scale which if you opened up the section in the guide brings you over to this page here. So if we look at a force 4 firstly and go down to that on the list that means there will be a mean wind speed of 13 knots it's is described as a moderate breeze and there's a probable wave height of 1 to 1.5 metres and they say that the sea state is 3 to 4 or slight to moderate. So fairly breezy. It says 4 or 5, so we're looking at a 5 here. That's classified as a fresh breeze, which is about 19 knots of wind and you're looking at a sea state of between 2 and 2.5 two and metres depending on your location. <clears throat> this is the type of wind that's pretty strong. You've got to decide whether or not it's actually safe to go out. Anything lighter than this should be fine. So, southwesterly means where the wind is blowing from rather than where the wind is blowing to. That's pretty important to remember. So, in that respect, it's blowing from this location towards the UK. So, it's coming in this direction. The next thing on the list is sea state. If we refer again to the guide under Guide to Marine Forecast and come over to this side of the page, you've got your sea state, which in this term is slight or moderate on this forecast. If you have a look at here, it says slight to the wave height of 0.5 to 1.25 metres, or moderate, which is 1.25 to 2.5 metres. So it's still a pretty impressive sea state if it does pick up. Uh, regards to weather, it says fair, rain later, except in the far east. That's pretty much self-explanatory. It's fair weather. It's not going to be too bad. <clears throat> when they say later, however, there's some things to think about with regards to that um, in the forecast because they have a terms and classifications, which you can see over here. So imminent is expected within six hours of the time of the forecast issue. Soon is expected within 6 to 12 hours of the time of issue, and later is expected more than 12 hours from time of issue. So in this state, it says rain later, which means it's going to be probably more than 12 hours from time of issue, but you need to be aware of it. Last thing to look at on here is visibility, which says moderate or good. We scroll over to the guide to marine forecast here and go to visibility. Moderate is between 2 and 5 nautical miles and good is over 5 nautical miles, so you've got really good visibility for the next 24 hours. If you then look below at the outlook for the following 24 hours, you've got a southwesterly veering west or northwest 4 or 5, increasing 6 or 7 later. So if you go to the Beaufort wind scale and you look at a 7 at the top end, that's 30 knots of breeze and it's classified as a near gale, so I'd suggest you don't go out in that. Probable wave heights of about 4 to 5.5 metres and the sea state term is rough or very rough. So you've got to be um, very careful as to whether or not you consider going out in those conditions if you're going offshore. When it refers to the term veering, you've got two terms, which is backing or veering when it talks about the wind. When it veers, it means the changing of the wind direction is clockwise, so from southwest to west or northwest in a clockwise direction. If that term there said backing, it would be an anti clockwise direction, so the changing of the wind in the opposite direction to veering. So, for example, if you were going southwest and you're 
backing west or northwest, it'd be travelling in an anti-clockwise direction. The sea state classified as slight or moderate, as with the previous forecast, weather, rain and squally showers, so you can expect random outbursts of rain and probably gustier winds in those periods, and the visibility again is moderate or good. So generally from that forecast, if I was having a look at this, in an inland location or inshore location, for example the Solent or Pool Harbour, you'll probably be fine to go out in these conditions, though you're definitely going to get rained on. Um, however, if you're going further offshore or planning on doing a route, you'd probably want to leave it for another day. So that's a quick overview of reading and interpreting an inshore waters forecast. In a nutshell, if you want to find out the answers to any of the questions or what any of the words means, just go to this area here, guide, open that section, it'll open a guide to marine forecasts and the Beaufort sale. Thanks for, again for listening and um, have a look at our other tutorials available on instructorresources.co.uk. Many thanks.